Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Oh, welcome to Drinking Bros, fake news. Who's oh. that? Jared it's, Taylor's back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. It's time. It's it, gorgeous. It, it is time to have Lord Hot Dog back. It's time uh, for me to build my army to make sure that you don't get into Area 51. Uh, Here's what's going to happen. On. We're calling it the clapping. Yes. You want to tell them why, Ross? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, we're getting them aliens from fucking no, Area 51. Yeah. Nah. Yes, then, we are. And then we're going to clap them I, cheeks. I'm sorry. Let's go to Jesse on this one for some quick intel. Uh, Jesse, <laughs> what is the longest Ross has ever walked? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. This is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> yeah, block? yeah, yeah. So, so block yeah. Block and a half? F- a New York block, People, maybe? People forget I it's mean, another and 80 then, miles and, from Vegas. And, to, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, then, and then tack on... The three and a half gallons of water that he's just going to have to have to make the walk, oh, the 80 mile God. walk over rough terrain. You know, I will, I will say this. My friend said it best, who's, who works at, uh, used to work out at Nellis in the test squadron there. And he's a seasoned operator for the last 17 years. And he goes, motherfucker, I almost died on a 4K movement out there. And these people think they're getting there. Fuck oh, off. Look, you're goddamn yep. right I'm yep. getting there. I'm with you, Jared. I'm no. with you. It's only 88 <laughs> miles, dude. dude. I can I can oh, First God. of all, first of all, I've already rented a Prius that is pre-juiced yeah, up. Yeah, but you can't you can't get you can't even get onto the first through the first road with that Prius. You have to walk. No well, need. No need, brother. I've been to Burning Man, so what I'm going to do is take a bandana, uh, <laughs> one of these uh, little deer parks here. Just one, huh? Yeah, one of, one of these little deer parks, and I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah, for 80 miles in the desert. 88 miles, Jared. I'm going to drink what it. I'm drinking now, which is Black Rifle and Jameson. In my head. I oh, think, you're doing? And here's, here's the problem. The is, has to stop. Here, here's, Who's cable? Oh, uh, Jared, your your cable when it moves over there, it it taps a little bit, kind of like when I'm tapping nothing's, those alien cheeks. Nothing's moving over here. Everything's still. All right. All right. Uh, look, what what I'm saying is this: I'm clapping alien cheeks. You're not gonna fucking stop me. And that's <laughs> well. Here's the deal. That's my world. Here's the deal. So those guys that die, are almost died, or heat catted out in the fucking uh, Nevada desert, mm-hmm. they were just out there fucking around, right? We're Which trying, ones are you talking about? Any of them. We're trying to bang aliens, bro. That's, no, I'm talking, that's a motivation. Like my buddy was like, on a fucking mission out there, a training op, and yeah, almost fucking a, died just on the movement. But it was a training op. I'm trying to fuck aliens. You don't <laughs> understand what that motivation can do for your body. Yeah, man. I, dude, like, I, have you I, heard of people getting superhuman strength when their kids are in danger? That's what I'm like when I'm trying to bang aliens. Yes, Jared. Let me, let me put it to you this way, okay? 1994 Pam Anderson. How far would you have walked to fuck Pam Anderson? 88 miles or more? Yes or no? Uh, what, ty- what, what, what fucking region and terrain? If you're telling me in Virginia or North Carolina, yeah, I'll walk 88 miles. Yeah, but miles. this is barbed but wire. You're, uh, you're telling me Anderson. in the desert, right. over mountainous, yep. high terrain, in the hottest month of fucking yeah, Las exactly. Vegas. Exactly. That's, that's why it's at night, assholes. The, the, uh, the clapping uh, doesn't start till and 3 a.m. And now you're, you're putting your fucking navigation chips in who? What do you mean? There ain't who? nobody at that desk that knows how to fucking navigate. Uh, I've got, I've got, <laughs> Google, I've got Google Earth right here Hey-o. implanted in my brain hole. I've, I've, I've done a movement or two in my day. Whoa, yeah, well, guess whoa. what? The second, the second you get past the first NTTR range gate, no cell coverage. So you're not using Google Maps anymore. Don't no, need I'll it. Use, Ross I'll is use done fucking at that point. dead reckoning Ross and terrain done. association. I'll <laughs> yeah. be fine. Done. done. Ross is done after the GPS oh, yeah. doesn't Ross, work. He yeah. literally stops you, dead no. in you, his tracks. You're not going to terrain associate at night in the desert. No. Everything looks the fucking same. I, well, feel, <laughs> I feel pretty positive. Um, I've been Google Earthing Groom Lake, Nevada a lot lately. I bet so. compasses work out there yeah I mean, how hard is the yeah, fucking compasses, compasses work i got GPS a compass work. i've got an expert infantry badge bitch i know how to fucking navigate i got those chinese beads as well you've never uh, done no 88 88 mile navigation you did fucking three and a half kilometers
dollars. Yeah. Well, uh, look, I got the Chinese yeah, beads. That's, that's pretty much all I need. Um, I got I got an abacus and uh, and I got a Rubik's cube. Here's the and, most important and thing you have. You're, you're going to come across our defense line at 66 miles. So you're going to be 20 miles in, tired, and then you're going to hit our defense line. Your, well, your defense line. So you're, yeah, so you're going to you, be there. I'm taking the uh, family guy approach. I don't know if you remember this. But no, I don't, Dan. He, I don't know anything about family guy. He was in Vietnam, guy. and he wore a clown suit because he's like, they're going to be looking for army guys. I'm going to wear a clown suit out there, <laughs> and no one is going to see me coming. I don't, probably not, but here's what I am saying, Jared. On the 20th, right around 3.15, because I'm going to take my time once I get my alien. All you're going to hear is this. The clappening, brother. The clapping. Are, wa- are you going to watch this, Jesse? Yes. Yeah, that's him having sex. with. No, I'm not going to be anywhere oh. near any of this fucking well, No, bullshit. he'll FaceTime you. And he, I'm not going to answer. Th- no. You I'm wouldn't want to see the first time. At all. You don't want to see the first time a human being has sex with an alien. Oh, my God. I would watch any two people I know or don't know fuck for any reason at any time just out of curiosity. Any people True, I yeah. know or don't know. Yes. And, and, and yeah, on our, on yeah. our, on our I mean, will, Jared. Why on not? Our, and, uh, like I on, guess, on Jesse and I I's just... will, I had it changed from my celebrity bang pass. Is um, now. Is now an alien. And what was it before, real quick? Uh... Now, was it B. Arthur or the other one? No, top of my head, Casey Musgraves, but uh, that's just <laughs> really? a, that's a throwaway. Um, oh. How do you think? <laughs> oh, geez. Ah, yeah. I mean, if you're going to go full Casey, just go Casey Anthony. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now that I can get behind, and I will be totally okay with that one. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you know, and you know, she fucks for like, uh, you know, for. To get things. Oh, well, Kate, here's Kate, the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. So we're going. I don't remember what the date is, but we're going to Ohio State for the Penn State Ohio State game, and that's where she's hanging out. That's where. Days. Yeah, that's where she was. You I, should come with us. We'll try to hunt her down and I, fucking clap and, those and cheeks. Date her. I, well, <laughs> and just hard date. We her should for enter a into week. a long, a long term, <laughs> yes. long distance relationship with her. But all four of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I asked like, her to drive me to to Area 51. She says she didn't have enough trunk space. Um, <laughs> blammo, sorry about that. blammo. Sorry about that. Um, but That's either way, the kind Jared, of stuff it's, you're gonna get. it's you versus me, the clappening versus the fappening, because you're going to be jacking off while you're uh, shooting. What are you shooting? Fifty well, the cows. Thing is, the thing is, is like I have an army of thirty five hundred seasoned soldiers. You're rolling up with. God knows what. Dirty hippies who are, are no. Burning Man experience. Oh. That's all I need. I think it's actually, if you watch that video of that kid that started the whole thing, I think it's actually mostly neckbeards dressed in wizard costumes. <laughs> yes, pretty much. That's, 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 <laughs> that's where you guys are going with this. I don't know how fucking successful this shit's actually going to be. <laughs> don't underestimate a guy who's on meth. They don't need anything. That's true. I just, I'm just going to say, it's fun to watch one of these guys just walk one kilometer in there. Oh, yeah. In their baggy ass EDM fucking jeans I can't yes. and their makeup. <laughs> let like, me a- let me ask you this though: If somebody does make it through and starts clapping alien cheeks, you're not going to stop them at that point. You're going to watch, right? Well, I mean, they're that's sixty miles away, dude. J- Jared, you got to follow if, them in. Yes, if they get in, if they get past your hot dog defense, and that's what we're calling it—the the hot, hot dog, dog defense. defense. Yeah. If they get yeah. past yeah. that. Yeah. The, are you gonna st- are you gonna be like all right? Congratulations, you won. Now I'm gonna watch you. Well, that bone. just means we're all dead. Yeah, maybe that, that is true. Maybe, and that I don't know how a bunch of unarmed hippies are getting through a line of 1,300 Browning M2s. We come in peace, and it's just about speed and agility. At You're that point, coming right? in pieces is what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you've seen what a fucking ma deuce will do to a human body, but it's unpleasant. I don't. I don't know if you see what <laughs> madong does to an alien body, but uh, that that is also not very pleasant. Um, <laughs> let's get to the other top stories of the day, shall we? Uh, first up and foremost, the Mueller report. It's uh, Mueller time. This brother. is the second, the second time in a row that there's been a big lead up to a Mueller thing and then nothing. And remind happened. me what this, <laughs> remind me what this is guys. So what is, <laughs> and Mueller, who, Mueller, who he's the former director of the <laughs> FBI. Kidding. Yeah. Uh, he likes long walks on the beach and not, I bet you and not, not answering questions. Jesus Christ. He, he's like, he didn't blueberry. even, he didn't say like he was pretty respectful. But every time they would ask him a question, he was like, yeah, I'm not going to answer that. 
Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. Every I'm not gonna single that. time, a even a lot was said in yeah, silence. Yeah, but you know what I'm kind of tired of? I'm really tired of like really obscure politicians that are are jumping in on these to ask questions, yeah. and they didn't even they didn't even read up on the situation. They just want the camera time. Like, oh yeah, to to have that news clip of them, but that's, fucking. I mean, AOC was a prime example recently, not in the Mueller case, but uh, she was fucking asking questions to the guy in charge of uh, Department of Homeland Security. Did you see that, Dan? Yeah, like, yeah, and, and the guy's she's like, like, what yeah, about the the you, kids in cages? And he's like. Uh, None of what you're saying is real. No, what she like, was yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. what she was saying is that it's inhumane to separate kids from their parents. And what he said was, well, if somebody in, a, in America that's a citizen commits a crime and goes to jail, they get separated from their kids. That's too. been my argument. That's how the, the law works, time. bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> and, Christ. And it's just like she makes herself look that much stupider. Like, just you're that dumb. You're coming in here. You're, you're trying to get your screen time and thinking that you're going to appeal to your people. But yeah. you just made yourself look like a moron. Yeah, she's but dumb think as fuck. about the people that she's talking to. That's exactly what they, they wanna hear. want to yeah. hear. And yeah, that's but exactly then, what they're thinking. But what's, what's the sound? If, if you're that kind of person, the sound bite is what you're looking for. And all Absolutely. of her sound bites suck now. So here's the problem. Because, yeah, it's to her them, getting owned yeah. by a subject matter expert, yeah. a guy that's been leading this. Like he had 38 years inside DHS. And he's like, you're a fucking clown show. Yeah. I wish they would talk to him like this. Yeah. I go, I wish that dude would look around the room and go, hey, does anybody that fucking has half a brain or in, is invested in asking me real <laughs> questions want to talk? I would because watch this is a it. waste of my fucking time. If it was more yeah. like the British House of Commons, I would watch. Oh, yeah. It. I would watch C-SPAN. That's the only thing I would watch. Yeah. If it was like that, if they were just talking shit to each other all the time. And speaking of that, I thought that the left was going to come out hard after Mueller for not being more rigid. And all they did was try to get their own points on record, but the right went hard after him. Yeah. Mostly for the point of him saying uh, that this doesn't exonerate Trump. It's not the prosecution's job to exonerate Trump, first of all. And secondly, motherfucker, that's not how the criminal justice system works. And uh, what's his name? Uh, John Ratcliffe made this point really well yesterday. He was like, you, you came out and intentionally said that this doesn't exonerate Trump, that this doesn't prove he's not guilty. That's not your job. Like, no prosecutor on earth would ever say that. Right. Because that's not how the criminal judge... He's presumed innocent. Like, if you couldn't prove him guilty, he is innocent according to fucking U.S. law, bitch. That's how the criminal justice system works. So shut the fuck up. But it'll never be good enough. Uh, he hates Trump, let's face it, and, and who gives a fuck at that point. Uh, so that, that hearing went exactly how I thought it was going to go. A whole box of nothing. He even said before he got in there that he wasn't saying anything. He was only going to refer to the report. Yeah. So, so to think anything otherwise would have been foolish. The only person that came out swinging as, as far as the media pundits, and let's face it, it was sleepy Chuck Todd. He's more famous than anybody who spoke yesterday at the goddamn hearing. Sleepy Chuck Todd was just like, man, on optics for the Democrats, mm -hmm. this is a fucking disaster. Yeah. And, and it was... Because now you've spent three years on this. We're about 14 months away from the election, and now we're supposed to give a fuck about your candidates that you're trotting out when you're yeah, top but did you three see, from four years ago? Did you see yesterday that clip drop from the hearing uh, with the behavioral science doctor that used to work at Google? Yeah. 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 Did you see that? Where oh, he, yeah. He straight up said... Uh, Google manipulated the 2016 election uh, and gained Hillary in excess of 2.5 million votes. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the, he was on uh, the Veritas Project. Correct. Today yeah. too. With or uh, yesterday, O'Keefe. Yeah, O'Keefe. Who's O'Keefe's a fucking retard? But that was just this guy's testimony. I think that's actually one of the stories I have. Michael Moore actually too was the other one who came out swinging and just said, "Please stop fucking talking about Russia." Focus on the candidates. We are all fucked in 2020. Well, here's here's here's, <laughs> here's he did. I mean, yeah. it's on his Twitter, Michael and everybody Moore, was just like, was "Man, fuck surprising. you!" Really surprising. Um, that was the first time they turned. Now the debates are what next week, next Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah. Next Tuesday yeah, but and that Wednesday. That first Democratic debate was such just a clown show. Oh my god, uh, it was a clown. Especially show. Especially all the Spanish speaking. Spanish. Get the it, fuck it, out it turned here. into a <laughs> who Jesus could Christ. speak Spanish contest and like, it was it was almost laughable like you guys are embarrassing 
Yeah. Like, you're dumb as fuck. It was really cringy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you're talking to... It, I've never wanted more to put somebody in a fucking Wolverine-style firing squad. Like, <laughs> and just end them. Like, done. Like, you're, you're in a... You're talking to, like, a very small fraction of the voting demographic. Yeah. And on a situation, like, right now, Gallup actually came out with a poll yesterday, or two days ago, uh, concern over immigration is now at its highest point in American history as far as the, uh, they rank, uh, they ask everybody who, what their biggest concern is, the economy or whatever the fuck is. 27% of people say it's immigration right now. Yeah. That's not 27% no, of dude, people. Dude. Or, uh, and Democrats. that's what's seventy percent of everybody. That's and this is what I was talking. I was on Aubrey Marcus's podcast yesterday, and that's what's the dumbest fucking thing. Like sitting around and watching friends on my Facebook page that have never lived in a border town talk about immigration is like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Like you don't. You, none of this affects your life. I said, I, I, and this is what I told Aubrey yesterday. I was like. Why, why doesn't anybody it, – it's always the, – the, right now, the two arguments are abortion and immigration. How much does abortion and immigration affect any of your lives on a daily basis? Well, look, for me personally – I've never had it. Yeah, look, abortion is not going to affect me until September 20th, obviously. <laughs> Um, when I'm clapping yeah, them but cheeks and I knock here's up my, an alien, here's brother. Here's my like, counterpoint. <laughs> yeah, why doesn't get rid somebody – like, like my, my <laughs> counterpoint is, is why doesn't somebody just stand up and go, you know what? I'm going to attack traffic. Let's, let's unfuck the highways. <laughs> A lot of people would get behind that. Yeah. Especially in California. Wait, wait. You're going to wait. Traffic actually affects my life every day. No, people, wait, I kind of like this. People guy. would rather like, just people don't care about actual <laughs> solutions. They just want to bitch and complain and be heard and have an Instagram post. Especially about Especially it. in California. Yeah, in exactly. California. They're going to let everything go until the state is completely overran or an earthquake drops that whole fucker into the ocean. Because otherwise, nobody's going to say. Yeah, I don't anything. know what their goal is out there. Like they just get yeah, stupider what is the and stupider end game? and stupider. I don't know. They're like, just—it's a huge echo chamber where a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of uh, small pockets of people. Because forty-five to forty-seven percent of California is still libertarian or Republican. Like, look at last year's election. Right. You can that that is in the voting or not last year's, but 2016's election. That's in the fucking voting record. Like Gary Johnson got three and a half percent, and and Trump got like forty-two percent. It's a massive part of that 38 million person country. Or, uh, well, state. It should be its own country, I think. Um, Maybe, but here's the problem. Would love to like v- smaller groups of people. Yeah, but what they... Are, go ahead. I was going to say, but the thing that Californians that are all pro making California their own country, they, they all scream off of the fact that Silicon Valley you know, makes more money than 80% of the United States. But also, there's no Californian military. They don't have a bomber base. They don't have a missile base. They don't have fucking fighters. They don't have tanks. They have nothing. Yeah. So it's like, I've always said, yes, sign the thing, make California its own country. The next day, start a massive bombing campaign on them <laughs> and then go, all right, you guys, you guys done? You guys good? You guys, you guys well, ready for us to take you back yet? Uh, all right, no? All right, we're going to cut off the water that comes from Colorado because you guys don't have any water. And we're going to cut off the power from, uh, from Nevada. And make so, it really uh, hard for them to immigrate to New York. And we're going to stop all trade on 101 and 5. Yeah. So you have nothing going in, nothing going out. And then and 10, getting, too, in Southern no, California. No water. Cut, no. The, <laughs> cut the electricity inside every Whole Foods. That fucking place will go <laughs> up in flames. Yeah. No, no, because once you stop the trucking industry in four days... You're out. You're out of fucking food. Every grocery store is gone. Yeah. yeah. And New York is starting to get crazy. I mean, like, r- rural New York and upstate New York are still pretty normal for the yeah. most part. But uh, the population centers down, like, this bullshit the other day where they're throwing water on cops. Do you see this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Why does anybody think why? this is okay? Why would you still, Why like, didn't the cops beat the shit out of them? I don't know. Not only that, but in, in New York, I, look, I go there a lot. There is yeah. there's next to zero crime there. You throwing water on a on a New York City cop for for what? Like here's what it is. They're petulant children. Can. This yeah. is what it is. They're like a middle class, like an upper middle class teenager who's depressed for no reason because their life is perfect. 
because they're living in the best city in the world, at least according to them. And they're crying and, that they got a BMW, yeah, not but a Mercedes. So they want to be mad at their dad. Like, dad, you're embarrassing. Stop talking to me and be a piece of shit to their dad. But then when they need their allowance and their car and their college money, they're like, oh, dad, give me that money. And as soon as they get it, they're like, fuck you, dad. Yeah. Like, it's no, the, no, it's no. The you were right. Teenager. I think there should be, there should be an opt out. Yeah, nine one one. Yeah, that, that's like, this is my plan. I've got a solution to all this. Let's start a new public program where you can opt out of police protection. If you're such a fucking anti cop piece of shit like this, then you can opt yeah. out. And here's like what happens. Oh, this is great. Here's, I like this. And you get a, a you get a little thing on your license on your on your driver's license too. It's like yeah. a mark. And on your like, car, like a like an inspector on inspection your iPhone, sticker you on just your car. Slide it over. Yeah. You know? Off. And here's what happens. As soon as you do that, nine one one is gonna block your phone number, your email, and your social media accounts just just like I had to do to my ex-girlfriend. Oh, Dan. Yeah, Dan almost got fucking murked. Um, which, that, I'm, I'm, that's a quick the murder. Yeah, just a Q, uh, uh, QM. Uh, yeah, just a quick murder. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up with New York City and toss it to you, Jared, on this one because you weren't on the show the last couple weeks. But AOC, gun to head, do you bone her? Yes or no? Yeah. Ah, you know, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know the answer. I think you know the answer deep down. You don't want to say I it. mean, the answer is always going to be yes. Clap. <laughs> Clap. The question, though, is, is how weird do I make it so she's too embarrassed to ever speak about it? Well, right. No, here's the thing, though. A girl with eyes like that, the weirder you make it, the more likely she is to follow you around like a lost puppy dog for the rest of your life. Yeah. I also think when you're climaxing, if you just, if you just scream out, Trump. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that would really great. get her going. Yeah, that'd like if you're, you're but, but then again, <laughs> I don't even know like like uh, with how dumb she is, I don't even know if she really dislikes Trump. I think she just does whatever she thinks is going to get her the next fucking clip on CNN. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe. But it would be funny if you were clapping those cheeks from behind and all of a sudden you just started whispering under your voice, build the wall every time you smack the wall. <laughs> and then build like the she's wall. like, she keeps looking back like, what are you saying? And then you just start screaming, build the wall. Build the wall. Does anybody know what her approval ratings in her own district are? Uh, they're like, bad. Are, really low. Are they upset over the Amazon thing? Are they going to hold that for a while? Her, her unfavorable rating the last time I looked was like 47%, I think, which is super fucking high. And it was high. Amazon and something else, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and there's a there's a Republican candidate who's running. Um, it's an African American woman in her fifties, so like that's going to throw a wrench think, into it. What do you think is the play here with it? Like, if she gets booted out of her seat, does she go away? No, no, she'll, no, never, she'll never go away. No, it'll be like Palin. It'll be she'll be like Sarah Palin for the left. She'll just keep doing interviews. She'll be a, a permanent fixture on CNN. She'll have yeah. that, that corner seat on CNN with Jeffrey Tubin. I mean, yeah, I see her like is. Pelosi. Like, she just does not go away. Well, Pelosi's still in <laughs> office. Yeah. So she's, Pelosi's never left office for yeah, but I, to be 9,000 years. I think that, like, someone is going to move her and get her elected in a different district. Maybe. Like, be like, maybe. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Like, make her. Like, I think, I think if she loses her seat this next time, yep. I think she relocates runs again, ro- relocates smartly somewhere like, like Southern California yeah, or some I was dumb just shit. Say. Or to beat those has districts. A bunch of, yeah, a bunch of fucking morons that are like, leave AOC alone. Like, and then, boom, we're back listening to her garble. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think she, in all honesty, I think she's here for the long haul, for real. Um, just because that seems to be the way it's shifting, and they keep giving her more and more and more press. So I, I think she's going to be around a while, whether whether we like it or not. Well, if, it's the it's it's Jerry Springer. It's the only thing yeah. people want to watch. They want to see what dumb shit's going to come out of her mouth. Correct. Fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Correct. Uh, this is the point in the show. We got some sponsors who pay for this whole fucking shit wagon to be on the air. First and foremost, Jerry, we got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Hey, you bought a new house recently. You going to stock that bitch up with ghost beds or what? Yeah, I need to. Yeah, let's get it done. What do you what do you what are you guys sleeping on in there? How yeah, many what are people you are in there? What are you rocking? What are you rocking? A king? Uh, I'm not in there right now. I'm in I'm in the apartment still until October because okay. there's new new floors being put in, the new drinking bros uh bar and set is being built oh, nice. right now. Yeah, by the so. way, I, you sent us the pictures of that. It looks gorgeous, dude. Is that going to be a, a nice spot? Yeah, is that a it looked like the front of a Ford. 
Think truck. It was the, the, back. It was the, the it tailgate, was the tailgate, the tailgate of, of a Ford it. truck. Yeah. Ross yeah. knows about cars big time. Oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. He, knows, he knows about tailgates, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey. They used to call them, you know, they didn't call them big anal for nothing. You're goddamn <laughs> right. And if you're going big anal, do it on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com. Uh, that's where I'll be clapping those cheeks on the 20th, dude, is on a ghost bed. September 20th, right around 3.15 a.m. That's right. I'm strapping a, a twin to my back. And, uh, okay, so right you're walking 80 miles yep. between, between, bed between 3... 9 p.m. and Correct. 3 a.m. Yep. Yes. Uh, All right. Yep. With a twin bed on my back. And, and about be 60 pounds of water. Yes, that's right. I don't need one. I just need a little mini here of, of <laughs> Deer Park. Not a sponsor, but they should be. Go to ghostbed.com for all your mattress needs and pillows. If you're a military or first responder, you get 15% off. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click it forever. And as always, 36 months Pay as you go, no interest program, and no one's offering that except for ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Next up, Jared Taylor. We got blackriflecoffee.com. Tell us about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, the, the coffee club has never been cooler. Like, everything that Evan and Matt is doing over there is awesome. And they're, they're starting to do a uh, release of products first to club members that are like, the super secret down in the lab products that Evan and Matt are uh, coming up with. So wasn't there a new haven't... product that dropped to yesterday? Or today? Yeah, I, I saw some board shorts. I heard a rumor of board shorts. Is that true? I don't. I don't know if the board shorts are out yet. They're coming though. We're in development of them. I yeah, believe, they look good. I believe we're testing like like a, and and getting the design like like right where we want it. Um, but I do got a new code. Uh, the new code is Summer Dog. You know, oh, for Lord Hot Whoa. Dog. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. So. If you're thinking about getting some Black Rifle or you're thinking about uh, uh, joining the club, just throw in that code SUMMERDOG. Yeah, SUMMERDOG will get you 20% off at BlackRifleCoffee.com. No spaces. No spaces. Just SUMMERDOG. That's right, dude. No s- ah. s- Same with the, the <laughs> clapping, dude. There's going to be no spaces between me and those cheeks. Uh, go to BlackRifleCoffee.com. SUMMERDOG will get you 20 20- percent off next up we got dollar shave club we got some big boy sponsors jared you just shaved up a lot of people are saying you you because you use dollar shave club they sent us all samples first of all their products are fucking amazing man i haven't used those since back 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 in the day yeah totally changed that's one of the greatest companies on the planet you shaved using them you got a new you got a new look here rick yeah he's going ricky Ricky. from uh from trailer park boys he's got the look going on yeah, it looks good. What I'm was gonna the, fine tune it? Gonna fine tune it? You you use Dollar Shave Club. What was the inspiration for that? Was the uh, was the lady wanted you to look like that? N- no, 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 no. I you know once I got some new shaving stuff, I was just more like, if I'm gonna shave, what would I what would I do? <laughs> and I I decided I'd go full Ricky. This has been a dream of his for a very long time. For Absolutely, a very yeah. very Jared, long time. Like no shit, Jared and I have been watching Trailer Park Boys since like 2006. So. Yeah, you guys are OG homies. Yeah. Uh, I look. I think Jared's the new Ricky of this of, of this decade. I would like to be the Ricky of Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ricky's Canadian. I'm American, so just make me from Alabama. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, what's something. what's what do we got on the code for Dollar uh, the Shave Club? The code is dollarshaveclub.com slash drinking bros, and that'll get you uh, five for five bucks. You'll get the starter kit. So it's right. a sample, of pretty much all their products. I don't know if the beard oil is in there, but they do have beard oil now. Yeah, like it just came out. So if you got a beard, there's still stuff you can use. Yeah, yeah pop out that URL one more time. Yeah, it's. Uh, Dollar Shave Club dot com dot com slash forward drinkin slash yeah. drinking yeah. bros. That'll, that's a five dollar kit. No, because it look that kit is incredible. Yeah, we, it, that's what they sent us. So yes, it's, it's it's got pomade and fucking uh, face wash and all kinds of shit. Everything in, in it. They want you to know they're back and better than ever. Go to Dollar Shave Club dot com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, last but not least, this is for all of us. Get Roman dot com forward it's been, slash drinking bros. Roman. It's been a dream of all of ours to have dick related products on the show as a sponsor like jared toyed around with the fucking uh well the, you know you know the, the only reason we have this jared is because of you in the the ropex, ropex yeah. so oh, ropex. <laughs> we threw it out to the audience that we wanted ropex on the show as a sponsor and they were like hey man there's not enough uh, need in the world for people to be having thicker ropes come out of it's your It's called dome. a volumizer and there's about <laughs> 18 volumizers out there yeah, yeah. Just, there's a just lot. Uh, but this will actually just give you the full boner. You want to triple rope on your own time? 
Go ahead. It's in a real meantime, simple process, though. Yeah, this for is Roman. getroman.com forward slash drinking bros. Comes in a discreet yep. box. Your kids aren't going to know about it. Your wife's not going to know about it. Your mistress isn't going to know about it. And you don't have to go to a doctor. You go on no. the website, you answer some questions. They send you the drug. It's the same active ingredient of all the other boner pills, like the ones that you have to go to doctors for. So. Yeah. Big fan of them. Wish Vicodin would come out with something like this. Uh, <laughs> you know? I think they did. It's a, guy the Viking. Named, it's a guy named Terry with a mullet right down the street down there. You just walk down. And All fucking right. ax, ax we'll him for, uh, be there later. I will be down there later. Next story is police in Massachusetts uh, ask residents to hold off on crime because it's too hot outside. I'm actually a huge fan of this. Yeah, proposal. I, really I mean, like yeah, it. that's a fair. That's a fair statement. Yeah. I, would, I would say so. Yeah, it's, especially when you're not. You know, when you're in a place that's you know generally cold yeah. and now it's super fucking hot that means not a lot of places have air conditioning and things like that so it's like hey guys can you just chill for a little bit we're all fucking miserable here's right what now. the police department said folks due to the extreme heat we're asking anyone thinking of doing criminal activity to hold off until monday <laughs> Yeah, it is straight. That's up. amazing. Yeah, he's, <laughs> it, they say, he says it's straight up hot as soccer balls out here. Conducting criminal activity in this extreme heat is next level henchman status and also very dangerous. Stay home. Blast the AC. Ben Stranger Things uh, season three. <laughs> Play with the face app. Practice karate in your basement. We'll all meet up again Monday when it's cooler. I like that. This is great. I like that a lot. And, and more, and, more chiefs of police should be like that man. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And I think this would, at least for the, the liberal crybaby, soften the blow of like, all right, cool. Police are, you know, you're humanizing the police force yeah. a little bit because uh, this, was, <laughs> this was fucking hilarious. And let's face it, it's true. Jesse, you proposed a sleepy time symposium for right after lunch. Where everybody takes naps for about an hour and just sort that's, of a siesta. Very that's, Italian, yeah, I was gonna right? say that's not your idea. They've been doing that. No, for it's not, of years. and I don't know why you said that. <laughs> I think it wants to get credit. me. I think it wants to get me in the game. But what I want to say, yeah. is um, <laughs> it sounds very sim world to me, right? Like, hey guys, like for the police officers to be like, let's just press pause on the game. Yeah, on the game for a second. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm a Sim World guy. Yeah, no, that's why I said it. Yeah, uh, J- aliens and Sim World. Jared, your honest opinion. With- we live in a Sim World, or, or is this the real world? Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there's something deep down inside of you that that knows or doesn't no. care. I would. I, I would don't also care. Peg you as- <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm on a mission to just laugh and come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure if Jared- that's it. That's all. That's all. That's all I need. Yeah. And, and eat. I'm pre- yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I'm pretty sure Jared's the kind of guy who like if you don't if you you can't eat gas station food and care whether or not we're in a simulated world. That's true. Like those two, there's <laughs> I don't think there's no caring. congruity. Yeah, but if we're in a things. sim world, doesn't matter that I'm eating gas station. That's exactly. what I'm saying yeah. though. Doesn't yeah. matter who wins either way. Here? I think your character wins. Who who's ever is playing you in the in the outside the sim world. It's They're like, winning. Man, I wonder if 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 a, a human could just live off a of gas station food for a full life. <laughs> and have you, you you've done have it. you ever done that on a video game? Just made all intentionally made all the bat wrong decisions just to see what would happen. I think that's what's going I on. I mean, yeah, in yeah, all of, of our course. lives right now. I think so. I've been I've been playing this. Uh, I've been playing this game recently called Seven Days to Die. That's pretty fun. Uh, but I like I spend a majority of my time just building a base. What is it? It's uh, it uses the Ark uh, model, which was an old game, uh, a couple years old. But um, Noah, it's built around like it's built around like building like and shit. But this one is every seven days, a larger horde of zombies is going to attack you. So you have seven days to collect weapons, supplies, and build your base and get ready for an attack. And then every seven days you get fucking lit up. Are you doing this to train for the Area 51 thing? Because that uh, sounds, sounds like, like it. Ross is coming to clap those cheeks, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, it's just just a, like again, like I go into cheat mode where I get all the stuff and then I just build a badass base that like traps them. OK, like like I think I think my base I have right now is impenetrable. Well, it's all clapping, a man, because um, <laughs> yeah. I'm coming for those cheeks, dude. Uh, next up, there's a video of Rashida Tlaib uh, getting booted from a two- 2016 Trump rally. Is that real? I yeah, didn't it's see real. this video. It's real. She's like jumping up and down like a hype man in a rap video and like, oh, you guys are fucking crazy. And everybody's just like, 
Why are you here? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for the audience, explain who Talita Rashid, or, uh, Rashida Talib is. Uh, she is an idiot. Oh, cool. Yep. cool, cool there you cool, go. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that makes awesome. sense. I've never <laughs> met one of those. <laughs> she's in. Uh, never met one of those. She's uh, one of the, uh, what are they calling themselves? The squad. Yeah. She's the one squad. of the four yeah. female rookie. Uh, oh, uh, God. Women yeah, it's her AOC. Like, these, and they're fucking yeah. idiots. They're so they're dumb. So they're fucking idiots. So what was the point of her going to this Trump rally Here, in 2016? Just to disrupt she, it or not? Yeah, she just wanted to be an idiot. But here's the problem. It's just like, uh, it's basically just a years-long episode of Crying Wolf. Like, there, there's actual bad shit happening every day. Right. Like, racist shit happens and blah, blah, blah. When you call everything racist, when you actually... When something racist actually happens, people don't believe it anymore. Because there's been like, uh, Ben Shapiro did a good piece on this on the Daily Wire, but there's been like 18 major fake racist hate crimes reported over the, since Trump took office. Yeah, there like, was one last weekend. Like major, yeah, that yeah. fucking uh, blonde haired black lady from wherever the fuck she's from. Uh, Georgia, I believe. Yeah, somewhere in Georgia. Yeah. Um, like there's actual real problems. There's economic and social issues that are going on. Chicago is a shit show. Just their 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 violence and their poverty and all that bullshit's going on. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's, it's a long road uh, for for these folks, and I have a feeling it's going to get a lot longer after twenty twenty. That's I my that's my guess. I, I think actually what Jared said before is uh, is poignant in this in this because attack something that you can actually affect. Like something that really makes an impact on your yeah. life. Like like st this building Trump into a straw man because you don't like what he represents and then attacking everything he says is racist is a waste of fucking time. You know what you know what would help? Go out and do stuff for actual human beings and your fucking district, asshole. Right. Like which that's your fucking job, man. What are you doing? But no, they're not going to do that. It's all about the soundbite these days. That's it. It is. Uh, it really is. And that's, that's why we have a job, which is nice. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it's just so stupid. Next so up, stupid, Facebook yeah. will pay an unprecedented amount of money uh, for a penalty over privacy breaches. That number is $5 billion, yeah. which to the outside world sounds like a huge number. But to what Facebook is, that's, book is actually worth is, yeah. is not that's, even close. That's one month of revenue for them. That's it, right? Yep. And One it, month. Although that fine is 30 times larger than the next highest FTC, Federal Trade Commission fine in, in American history. Yeah, Jared. So it's big. You, uh, how, much, how much info do you think uh, Facebook has sucked out of you? I know Jesse's is zero because she never uses it. Yeah, yeah, but if it does, I, I don't, don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. It, I, know, I, knew. Yeah. I knew what it was about, you know? Yeah. And then they give me advertisements and... Yeah, that, Tar that, target me and I'm OK with it. And that's kind of how I feel as well. So with this five billion, since they don't pay taxes, is this kind of just a way to say, hey, man, th this is our this is our reach around to get those tax dollars out of you that you probably owed? Yeah. If people don't remember Basically. that in uh, I think it was fiscal year 2015. Facebook got a three billion dollar tax refund. Yeah. Federal tax refund. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Amazon, Facebook, and who is it? Google didn't pay taxes this year in the United uh, States? G GE doesn't either. Yeah, GE didn't. Um, they, they got, actually, GE in twenty. Yeah, but GE, GE, it, the reason GE gets it is because they, they keep putting in all the uh, windmills and the, all the energy yeah. shit. Oh, that, really? That's part, part, part of it is that, and part of it is that they don't pay any property tax in California. When's the last time you saw a windmill? Uh, in California, all, yeah. yeah, on the, on the way to all over the place. Actually, on the way to Palm Springs was the last time I saw. Same, one. that yeah. I, I, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's the last time I've seen a windmill, and you pass like you know a, a shit ton of them yeah, on the way a, to Palm there's Springs. There's a bunch, yeah. But I don't see them like I, we're, we live in North Carolina. I don't see them in North Carolina. I, I don't see them in Texas. There's Jared. a bunch in Florida, right, Jared? Yeah, but North Carolina isn't a windy state. Yeah. Well, they call it the Windy City, so. Yeah, no, they don't. That's, oh, that's, uh, that is wait incorrect. a minute. Uh, but yeah. the NHL team is the Hurricanes, which are quite windy. So you would ah. think, hey, just for hurricane season, I gotcha, I throw gotcha. a couple of those little tri, tri pecker things up so we and uh, be, let's get wet. We should be trying to uh, build a device that harnesses the energy of a hurricane. Yeah. That's what we should be doing. Yeah. Yeah. What I like I like that a lot. It's like a vacuum. Yeah, you know? vacuum. It's a little it's like dust a plane monster. mounted vacuum. Uh, and then it puts it in a little module. Yeah. And it becomes a boner pill called the Hurricane Dong. <laughs> yeah, the old Hurricane Dong. By the way, go to GetRoman.com forward slash Drink It Bros for that Hurricane Dong. So you can clap them alien cheeks. She wow. can. Oh, God. The clapping is He's happening. He's going to need here. it. Uh, now, what if there's two scenarios here? Number one, 
You get the alien, and it has no genitalia. There's no holes. Yep. No, you make a hole. I create one. Ah, a little slit okay. right around the back. Now, and now number wound, two, now your wound second talking. scenario. This alien's been in jail for seventy years and is a little ripe. Uh, so when I here's the thing, we'll wash it. Boom! Down. I put it on my, my again. Got a twin mattress on my back, right? I'm going to strap the alien to that so it's not touching me directly. You then, might want to add a bucket and some cleaning supplies in case you got to wash your alien. I, I got, I'm, I'm going to one up you. I'm going to take it on down to Circus Circus on that walk back to Vegas. Um, clean it up, you know, before we go to Dre's. Well, it's it, under construction, so you got to be careful. Yeah. Um, whatever. I'm not, look, I'm not picky on the hotels. I'm I go, go to, to Westward Ho. Or yeah, is that even there? I'm going to go to Hotwire and try to find a deal. The Palms oh, okay. just got redone. Yeah. Oh, that'll and be And it's nice. right, in, it's right down nice. the street from uh, Circus Circus. Yeah, right so I'm, I'm going to take it in there, wash it up a little bit, and, uh, and then probably have, have sex in there, but... Uh, yeah, they put a new bar. Down if they're there, ripe, again, fun. I think they're being cleaned. Um, I think they've been living there and they've been studying forever. So I think we're good to go. They've been in enough formaldehyde there. Yeah, but what if the smell is like something that's normal to them, but it's just the worst thing? Then you plug ever. your nose. I mean, look. Uh, every time Justin comes on the show, he ma- he pantomimes somebody sucking dick, and for some reason, he always pens his nose closed yeah i don't know what kind of dick he's been sucking or where me neither but there's a way to get around that is all i'm saying yeah and i feel pretty confident in that jared um i i feel pretty confident what i'm doing with these aliens so uh pretty much don't need any any more advice on that uh i think they're gonna be clean and they're they're gonna be ready and their cheeks are gonna get spread uh next up (laughs) news wise today in communism Cuba is running out of medicine. Are you shocked by this? <laughs> no. Day? So a few years ago, all of the fucking major uh, left-leaning publications in the U.S. So the New York Times, the Post, Time Magazine, all these, all these uh, uh, publications were like talking about Cuba's help with Doctors Without Borders. Oh yeah, they're doing a great job. They're like they were trying to make America look bad, basically, which is what those publications do. Yeah, they try to yeah. find ways yeah, yeah. to say America looks bad. Well, it turns out Cuba was keeping the money the cuban government was keeping the money the doctors weren't getting paid <laughs> is that real so, yeah this is how communism works <laughs> motherfucker. like i don't know why you thought it was going to be any different than that um jesus christ oh, this this lady from the wall street journal mary <laughs> anastasia o'grady he's a ver- veteran cuban politics politics expert says is that uh, a thing that's a real thing huh well i mean we've been in a state of cold war with cuba forever i, I saw i just saw that that donald glover movie it looked like everything was fine down there <laughs> on amazon anyways <laughs> so she she calls it cuba's slave trade and doctors and uh that's exactly what you should expect of communism and socialism anytime so power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely that's an old maxim right yeah so why design a government where eight people have all the fucking power it doesn't make any sense that's why you, the united states was created as a country in the f- fucking first place that's the entire reason we all exist. It's the reason this hat exists. It is. Look, and, and I get it. I think we all know communism is bad, and so is socialism, except for four people on the left. But, uh, you know, uh, them running out of medicine, not surprising. What's the first thing you would steal, Jesse, medicine-wise? What would you keep for yourself? Medicine's running out. What are you going and grab in Cuba? What are you keeping for yourself? I mean, obviously, a uh, cat tranquilizer. Ah, Ketamine. Ketamine, yeah. Yeah, yeah and uh, Vicodin, obviously, and just hey, wear moo-moos uh, and martinis. I was thinking recently about this just one day is, do hey! you think that we could, do you think we could hit up like a vet or somebody and see if we could get tranquilizers that'll put us out and the trank guns and then we have our own yes. little war in the backyard? Hang on. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say who this is, but... Someone who's friends with the show and both shows had reached out and said, hey, man, we have a shit ton of ketamine. Like we use it all the time and it's we can just sh- we can just ship you a case. If of it we if made want. if we made auto injector projectiles and made it like a quarter of the dose, no, they already take... make these things for zoos. Oh, yeah. We yeah. Should get like those. a gorilla gun. So, you know? no, but we need to make and the then dosage we shoot like each other one with quarter. It. We, the dosage yeah. should be one quarter of what it takes to put you out. So you got to get hit four times to go out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So you're like, so we're playing you're like we're fucked. playing paintball, but it's 
There's consequences. For keeps. <laughs> for keeps. And then we'll do it in like a football field with yes. no new obstruction. New year, new donkey. Yeah. <laughs> Man, would I, I'd love to trank you, dude. <laughs> just and, I, and look, just because you when you woke up, you'd be like, what did you do to me? I know right? you did something to me, yep. and I would never tell you what I did to you. And it'd be you. a big secret. Yeah. An open secret. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. No, no it that, would be. We would live stream the whole thing. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> we're gonna dress you up in an alien costume and clap those cheeks, son. Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, speaking of communism, Bernie's got some issues. Oh man! First, he's pissed off at MSNBC, which this one's surprising. To this me. is not surprising because this is the same <laughs> shit that happened last time. They're trying. They're obviously trying to fuck him over. They have people on regularly like uh, expert hosts or guests or whatever the fuck that just trash Bernie. And then the host from MSNBC, the sister is like, oh, cool. All right. Uh, on to you. <laughs> like the yeah. next guy. Like they don't, <laughs> they don't say shit about it. They're, they're clearly trying to sabotage this guy, which is fine because he's a knucklehead. He's not going to win anyways. But they are clearly trying to sabotage him. And he's also sabotaging himself by not paying his own employees the $15 minimum wage yep. that he wants everybody else to pay. Yeah. And now they filed a labor grievance <laughs> against him. That's right. They yep. filed a labor grievance because here's how yeah, he but handled it. I want to know this. The people that fucking got the jobs on his campaign that are for this guy, like, are they all now like, okay, this dude's full of shit. You'd, you got to imagine they're going to vote for somebody else because they, they brought it up to him personally. For, they filed an <laughs> internal grievance first, and yep. his solution was, okay, I'll pay you 50 bucks an hour, but – we're going to cut your hours, which is one of the provisions in Obamacare, by the Correct. way. Correct. Like you can't cut hours to es escape minimum wage laws or healthcare laws or any of this healthcare, shit. Healthcare, yeah. So they were doing that in Los Angeles a lot because you yeah. know everybody was psyched about Obamacare in Los Angeles. Uh, then they cut you down to like twenty eight hours. Twenty nine hours, yeah, yeah, is what it was, yeah. and, they, and they cut you down per week, and that was. And they were like, wait a minute, I'm not making money anymore. Yeah. Here's the thing: if somebody, <laughs> if somebody in power asks you to do something that they're not willing to do. Then get fucked, brother. Yeah, exactly. Uh, get like fucked. If you said in the first Democratic debates in both uh, series, they ask uh, the the candidates, "Would you drop your private health care insurance to do public health care?" And none of them raised their hand except for two, two. people. So there was think, yeah, there was two people. I think it was De Blasio, maybe. And yeah. Uh, it, it's all a crock of shit. Nobody's yeah. got solutions for anything. And then, you know, next week's going to be much more of that. I However, wait. I will say I this. I can't wait to see this. Yeah, yeah same here. It, look, last it was must-see TV last time. On this next one coming up, they've got uh, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie in the same yeah. stage. And then oh, on the other one, God. they've got Biden, Kamala Harris. Fingers. Yeah, a lot of witches' fingers, Kamala Harris, <laughs> and Cory Booker. <laughs> so you know they're going to go. Where's Beto at? Is he out? No, he's still in. I, I don't know he, which one he's in. Surprisingly. Is he still there? Well, I mean, he's, he's alive, mean, and he's going to be at the thing. That doesn't mean he's going to. He'll be the only the one that. He's the fucking weakest person I've ever seen in absolutely. my life. Yeah. Of he, all like, time. He's the, kind of guy, he's the kind of guy that doesn't get erections. He just folds his penis in half and, and like slides it inside <laughs> of a one really carefully. Yeah. I mean, the whole time he's like, here, are you okay? Is everything okay? Yeah, exactly. Like, no, that dude's never had real sex in his life. Let me, hey, let me know if this hurts. Let me know if this hurts, God, okay? What my my ancestors own slaves. That's what he said this week. Yeah. My ancestors. Hey, I just want everybody to know my ancestors own slaves. And I apologize. And I apologize for, for ancestors 200 years ago who owned slaves. Yeah, five generations ago. Yeah, you yeah, already like renamed you, yourself you, a you. Mexican name. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if my dad shows up somewhere and starts uh, using racial slurs, I'm going to be like, that's not me. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't like my dad anyway, so exactly. he can get the fuck out of here. Uh, I'm not going to apologize for people that did shit 400 years ago. Uh, plantation life. Plan yeah, <laughs> hashtag plantation life. Um, uh, Jesse, your favorite candidate's up. Uh, Marianne Williamson, Ooh, man. Oh, the author. Oh, gosh. How much do you think she does mushrooms before the debates? She has to, right? She is just do do your impression of her of from crazy. the last. Uh, I don't have an impression it's of the, her. Uh, oh. Oh, well, oh every, everything is love. Oh, oh yeah, what, yeah. She answered some question. What did they ask her? And she was like, well, it does remind me of the rolling hills yeah. back in my hometown. Yeah. <laughs> and we need to protect those hills from were, mean boys and men. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, Marianne, we asked you about wow. what you would do if you won the presidency. No, but in my no, hometown. And, and I'd call I New said, Zealand. Oh, yes. And I, they said to me, I'm recall, I recall a quote 
from the president of Netherlands or New something. Zealand. New Zealand. New yeah. Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. It was basically couched uh, American exceptionalism, which is everything that the left is against. <laughs> it's great. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about it. Yeah. My Oops. bad, homie. Sorry about it. Either you way. Got, that whole crew is going to provide a lot of entertainment. It really for is. Oh, and, and, and especially for the news next Thursday, because those debates are Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep. We, we record on Thursday. Yep. That's going to be Oh, blast. yeah. It's going to be lit. I, I wonder how soon after that they're going to announce which six are the final contestants on The Price is Right. Uh, yeah, if they do it like the CNN fantasy football thing. They yeah, do. How, when do they do that? God, when, do they, when do they chisel them down? I don't know. It's going to be after this debate, but I don't know exactly September, when. September, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think they're giving it a month, and they're yeah. going to And is it the DNC it. that chooses this? Yes. Correct, yes. Yeah. 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 So, so like, all right, all right, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're done. How I'm funny. Done. I, I can't wait I for that still bitch th- fest, by I the way. I still think that there should be a fight to the death to see who's president. Huh? Like, anybody can run. It's like a home gang, basically. But in home s- gang. Yeah, home gang. Instead of getting uh, every, the person shit and their wife and kids and everything, you just get the presidency. So you, anybody can challenge the sitting president at any time. It's like the fucking Dothraki from Game of Thrones. Sure. You can yeah, challenge but that then guy. Everybody would just be challenging him all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be fucking great. I, I think Tim Kennedy would be president, and that would probably yeah. be – he'd be president for 50 years. Yeah. Uh, be nobody, awesome. nobody can That's, beat that guy. I like, I like that. I like that as well. Because, look, if a, if a really strong – good person like a benevolent dictator which is what i always argue for was in office yeah then people would pr- protect him from anybody trying to challenge him and if he was a piece of shit guy that won somebody people would constantly challenge him to try to get him out of there i think it's a yeah. self-correcting system and i believe it will work speaking He's of politics absolutely right speaking of politics uh, boris johnson is now prime minister of the united Kingdom, kingdom no one gives a fuck uh, it's crazy right when i look at him he looks like a, a, a cartoon character, like of a, oh, there's my wacky neighbor who's yeah. falling down the stairs. He's like a bad sitcom Whoop. neighbor. <laughs> I feel like. Or I Mr. Feel, Bean. Yeah, yeah. I feel like anytime I see him, I expect to hear those old school like sound effects. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what a fucking jackass. BJ, Boris anyway, Johnson's um, in there. They're calling him the British Trump. Uh, he said Brexit by Halloween. If that happens. Oh, my God. The, the liberal tears were, will have cl- crossed the Atlantic and then gone right into England. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it's going to oh, like erode some of our coastlines before the melting glaciers do. Yeah, that's going to be the real global warming. Yeah, liberal is. tears. I wonder how the Muslim mayor of uh, London's going to take that. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, He's going to be at home. No, if, yeah. there's, if, there, if there's one mayor I want to remove from power, it's the fucking mayor of Portland. Fuck oh, him. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fucking piece of shit. He's a piece of shit fucking idiot. And on his fucking Instagram handle, it's like, done eight Iron Man's. No one cares, you loser. Yeah. <laughs> like, is that really on his Instagram? Fucked up a, you fucked up a city so bad. Yeah. You fucked over your cops. You let these fucking nerds in Antifa fucking run rampant instead of letting us just put a fucking bulldozer blade on a fucking F-350 and roll <laughs> through them. Like, well, you dude. know, Joe Biggs is going up there on August 17th to, to start some shit. Oh, I don't, I don't I know can't exactly what that. he has planned, but you can follow him on social media and find out. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biggs just does not give a fuck. No, he does he still have social media or did he Dude, get Dude, I really he wish. Gets killed on every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I wish. I think, I think that if we used like a large fishing net and, and a couple vehicles, like we could, we could scoop all of them up. Yeah, just put vouchers out for uh, people's uh, college uh, loans. Their student loans. <laughs> yeah. Like, here's a free voucher to pay off your student loans. Like, oh, shit. And they'll all come running for them and then just grab them with the net. Yeah. Uh, pretty yeah. much game over after that. Because they're obviously not very smart. They spent $150,000 on a liberal arts degree, and now they live on the street in Portland. Yeah. So how well, smart could they now be? No, I think, you know, we, we find out where the next protest is going to be. We run some steel cable at about fucking 45 feet in the air, and then we have, we have the fishing net on that steel cable and then we have two engines that are manning a pulley system on the other end and once they start to rush we just thrust that fishing net towards us at high speeds and we just gather them all up uh, look and then, I'm down for and it and then we and then Ross is down there with a booth handing out bats 
and it's like beat the Antifa idiots. Like, or, you just beat or, them with a band. Or we have a big screen and we just make them watch all of the St. James Street James movies. Over and over and <laughs> over, over and again. over again. Oh, God. As soon as the blackface scene shows up, <laughs> yeah. meltdown. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I Jesse, just watched Pool Boy two nights ago. A lot of people are hitting me up. So I, didn't, <laughs> I did too, actually. I, yeah, I didn't know that, but it's on, it's on Amazon Prime. Well, and it's free. because... We're starting a new 1970s style detective show out here. Really? What's the name uh, of it? Uh, it's 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 actually called Hoagie Hoagie and Hoagie. <laughs> 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 and it's uh, Matt, Evan, and Logan as detectives, uh-huh. and I'm I'm the evil villain, Lord Hot Dog. And every episode, you know. I'm into some new crime, and they're trying to find catch me doing it. Oh, uh, that's I great! Think, I think the first one is I'm involved in some illegal honey moving activity. <laughs> oh, that's is weird. it all going to yeah. be food crimes? Is that, uh, is, that is it all related to food? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys wait and see oh, see great. the intro. Well, I great. mean, just, yeah. just hearing the character names, Hoagie, 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 and Lord Hot Dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all. It sounds yeah. like all food. It's, yeah. It's Trevor Hoagie, Earl Hoagie, and Daryl Hoagie, um, and, and this is this is Instructor Earl's backstory. Okay, gotcha, 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 Christ, gotcha, that's gotcha. Good. gotcha. Big fan of that. By the way, speaking of uh, the Pacific Northwest and Oregon, uh, an Oregon man was arrested, and he in his possession he had drugs, uh, a gun, and a notebook that outlined his business plan for selling drugs. Ah, oh. <laughs> look, here's what I've always said. If you're a drug dealer, have a plan. Yeah, yeah just but have a plan. maybe don't write it down. So when they found this guy, I can't pronounce his name. It's Eric M-O-Z-E-J-K-O. I don't know what kind of name that is. Ah, it's he, made Mozambique. Yeah. Mozambique. He was, yeah. Mozambique. He was arrested in April driving a car that didn't, it was a Mercedes with no license plate, which is also a good idea. If you're going to be out in town selling yes. drugs, probably make sure you knock out both your taillights. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and put a fuck the police sticker on the back of the car. Uh, so this guy in his possession, he had heroin and meth. <laughs> oh, a, a repli- wow, he was a, doing good. A replica gun, uh, $1,200 in cash, a bunch of needles, a scale, and a notebook that detailed his plans to be a drug dealer. Now, this is the funny part. He recorded down to the last detail what he was going to do, including on getting his seed money to rate like raising capital to start his drug uh, business. And th- these are the three bullet points he had in there. Uh, the first way to raise money is selling drugs. Great. And then Perfect. two, <laughs> two stealing items from stores and selling them. <laughs> I don't know where yeah. God, Craigslist maybe serious? and then three, from stores. Yes. And then three is robbing other drug dealers. Oh, and then, <laughs> now that's where you get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he would have been fine at the first two. When you start robbing other drug dealers, yeah. that's when you cross the line. I used to, I used to do that. Uh, you used to rob, rob other drug dealers. Yes. How? With a gun. Really? It's easy. <laughs> How old were you? Um, Look, here's the, here's the thing. News. It's a victim. Breaking news. We've got him. <laughs> it's if a, you're looking for him. It's a victimless crime. But here, here's why. <laughs> ah. Selling drugs is a crime. It's not sure. like you can go to the fucking police. So right. vigilante type so, stuff. So, yeah, you uh, go after weak targets, and uh, you surprise them, and they can't do shit about it. Okay. So, okay. At, anyway, at any rate, well, there you go. per police, uh, they said he had it all laid out there. He felt he needed a certain amount of cash and ways to recoup the cash. Okay. So that means he had a plan not only on how to sell the drugs, but also on how to rough people up or whatever to get the money after he gave out drugs on consignment. That's solid. Yeah. Uh, solid. Yeah. I'm not saying having a plan is bad, uh, but he did have a section in, the, in there on how to outsmart police. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I could so. have helped him with this. I'm a consultant. Uh, let me tell you, buddy, the best way you could have done that is to not write your entire plan down in a notebook, which you also carried around with you. And the drugs. <laughs> well, <laughs> look, I, some people are forgetful, you know. Uh, you need a little reminder. I, I, I wrote doctor's appointment on the back of my hand yesterday at 4 p.m. So some, some people need a, a little heads sure. up in life. Jesse, sure. what were you using underneath your arms over there just a, a second ago? Um, it's an uplift roll-on aromatherapy. Oh, boy. God damn it. Where did you get that wow. basic white girl shit? Was that Whole Foods? Yeah. It was oh, Whole Foods. God. <laughs> it oh, said God. uplift, and I needed an uplift. Why don't Where you just do cocaine like go. an adult, Jesse? Yeah. Jesus Where was Christ. I supposed to put it? How, how are you feeling after doing it? Uplifted or not? Uh, maybe it's just hanging out with you guys, but not uplifted at all. <laughs> so it didn't work. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Last but not least, paleo diet is linked to heart disease. You shocked by that, Anthony? Uh, yeah, apparently you just can't uh, eat bacon and cheese for every meal and be healthy. Mm. Mm. Didn't, yeah. didn't know that. Also, eliminating whole grain from your diet, which is something paleo does. I think, I think the next time I come out to, to you guys, I think you should set me up a doctor's appointment where he does a physical on me, and then he gives you an assessment of how healthy I am, even though I just eat gas station food. Yeah, I got that a guy. That would actually be fascinating. Yeah, yeah, and I got a guy. He looks <laughs> exactly like Dan. He's probably healthier than all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got a doctor who looks exactly like Dan. Uh, his name is Stan. Uh, same, same guy. Kind of looks like you. Weird. Yeah. Weird. I think he wears a blonde wig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Same beard, same eyes, the whole deal. Let's yeah. get to the drinking bro of the week before topless Stacy, shall we? Uh, drinking bro of the week was nominated by Mr. Scott Hebel. Oh, uh, we do Jared. We love Scott Hebel, dude. Yes. We know Scott. Scott. He says, hey, fuckers, <laughs> I want to nominate <laughs> drinking bro of the week. Freedom Dave. Dave is a big presence in the drinking bros community, specifically in uh, selfies. Everybody loves Freedom Dave. I know. Uh, and, the, and the first responders group on, uh, on Facebook. By the way, if you're not signed up on Facebook for, for Drinking Bros, it's a private group. Jared started this group how long ago? God, five years five ago? Five years. Five years. Uh, how many subgroups are there? 280. 280. So when we're saying subgroups, this is what we mean. So once you sign up, you can go in there. And it's, again, it's free. And it's all fucked up people like us. Fitness, nerds. Selfies, cigar, first responders. Singles. So he says... Uh, like Singles, yeah. Yeah, singles is a big one. Uh, it says to me, uh, like Dave, like me, Dave is a cop stuck behind em- enemy lines in SoCal. Yikes. Uh, he is also a former Navy doc. He's a positive force, brings smiles to everyone's faces with his antics, travels, and ice cream addiction, and shot calls uh, outs with uh, the shot calls are, are big in, uh, in drinking bros. Shot trains, yeah. Shot trains uh, with any sort of non-alcoholic beverage. Yes, Dave doesn't drink, but he's still one hell of a brother. His deep voice also causes the tide to rise in the panties of many Damn. broettes. Wow. I'm truly proud to call Dave a friend and a brother, and so are we, Scott. Thanks for this submission. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers. I, I'm a little upset that he's addicted to ice cream. I think we, and he doesn't yeah. drink. So here's what, uh, Jared, I don't know if we filled you in on this, but uh, Ross and I came up with something called reverse rehab. I'm sorry. You guys, what? Yep. Reverse rehab. You guys came up with yeah. that. Yeah, it's we where did. you oh, train dude. someone to keep doing something. I'm just fucking go fuck myself. No, I think Jesse said yeah, that. Yeah, the fuck I came up it with it. It was Jesse. It uh, was Jesse. Jesse. From one woman to another, here's topless Stacy with the weather. Stacy, where are we? It's raining. You betcha, Stacy. Appreciate your hard work. Uh, Jared Taylor, it's awesome having you back on the show, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Next time we'll have all the kinks uh, worked out, and we'll be, we'll get we'll get wet. Yeah, yeah we well, we're get getting wet. where we need to get. Uh, hey, but but we've missed you. We love you, and we're glad you're back on the show. Before we go, I just want to follow up on something from last week's news. Yes, that uh, 9/11 Victims Fund got fully funded. It did. It's done. There were two people who voted no. Correct. Uh, it was uh, Rand, Rand Paul and uh, Mike Lee and Mike Lee from Utah. From so Utah. If you're if you're a uh, a resident of Utah or of Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky, don't vote for those pieces of shit. Exactly. Because fuck them. Yeah. The end. The end on that. And uh, shout out to John Stewart, man, for uh, yep uh, for doing God's work on that one and supporting the first responders and their families up in New York um, uh, from the 9/11 attacks. Uh, fun show, man. Again, I, I just want to say it again, man. It's, a, it's, it's great having you back. We miss you. The world misses you. Lord Hot Dog, ladies and gentlemen. For Jesse Wiseman, Lord Hot Dog, D'Anthony D'Anthony, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the yeah. Drinking Bros Fake News. Play us out, Jared Taylor. We'll get to that. <laughs> 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 Drinking Bros.